Hello everyone and welcome. I thought I would do some favorite fall items. So I thought I'd start out today with making pumpkin roll. This is one of my favorite recipes to make. My grandmother made it with me years and years and years um, every fall. But sometimes we'd even make it when it wasn't fall because it was just so good. So I'm going to be making this. Um, this is not a vegan version that I'm making. I'm just making a regular version of it. So we're going to get started with three eggs. Put those in there and mix those up a little bit. I'm going to take one cup of sugar. Mix that with the eggs until well blended. The nice thing about this recipe is that you don't need a mixer for it. You just grab a bowl and stir it all together. Now we're going to have two teaspoons of cinnamon. One teaspoon of baking powder. Two thirds of a cup of canned pumpkin or if you'd like to use fresh pumpkin. You have that from your pumpkin sitting around that you wanted to bake up. You can use that. Okay. All right. And then two thirds, oh no, no, three quarters of a cup of flour. So it's two thirds of a cup of pumpkin, three quarters of a cup of flour for those last two ingredients. Stir that all together. And then once it's all mixed well, I have a cookie sheet or jelly roll pan, whatever you'd like to call it. I just use a medium sized one and I put a piece of wax paper down and then I grease the top of the wax paper really, really well. I just use cookie spray, but you can use shortening too. Have that all ready to go and your oven preheated at 350. And as soon as this is mixed good, we'll just pour it evenly onto that wax paper. We're going to bake it in the oven for 18 minutes at 350. If you're making a gluten-free version using the gluten-free flour, that would be 16 minutes at 350. Anytime you're making gluten-free um, baked goods, they turn out, I think, a little bit stronger in flavor. You can taste more of whatever flavoring you put in, whether it's cinnamon or chocolate or vanilla. Okay, this is mixed pretty well, so I'll get this poured onto my pan. And I'll spread this out as evenly as I can on the tray because basically where you put the batter is where it bakes. It doesn't really move around too much or get much bigger than what it is. And it gets a little bit puffier, but it doesn't really spread out very much. It's all ready to go in the oven. 18 minutes. All right, so we're back and it's been about 16 minutes and I checked the pumpkin roll uh, with a toothpick and it came out clean. So sometimes it will be ready in 16 minutes rather than 18 even if you're using regular flour. So I take it out of the oven. Here's my tester to say it was clean. All right, 
Now, this is my little secret that I always use because everybody always says, well, how does yours turn out um, nice and moist and not dried out like so many of them? Like, can you buy them in the stores? Usually they're kind of dry. I don't really like those. So I leave it in the wax paper and I take about a half a cup or a little less than that, depending on uh, what you want to use, of powdered sugar. evenly over the pumpkin roll and I get every corner so if I need to add a little bit more powdered sugar I put about probably about a third of a cup of powdered sugar on here so if I need to add a little bit more I can I think that should be pretty good okay all right and now In case you hear meowing in a minute, there might be a cat bite. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna start to roll it up in there. Well, actually, no, first what I'll do is I'll take it out of the pan. It might be easier to show and easier to roll as well. cooling rack because it'll cool faster and I leave it sit now it's gonna take several hours to cool off uh, unless you put it you know like maybe say like if you have like a closed-in porch and you put it out there and it's cool out it'll cool faster but the key to it is just let it cool completely before you go to do the next step cool down for a while. I'm very patient with it to cool. So in the meantime, I'm going to get out the filling ingredients to get those to be room temperature so I can turn them into the filling. So you'll need eight ounces of cream cheese, any kind of cream cheese that you like. You need four ounces of butter, whatever kind, and you'll need vanilla, a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then you're going to need powdered sugar. Um, powdered sugar is one cup of powdered sugar. And after um, probably about an hour or two of having this out, um, they should be, depending on how cold or warm your house is, they should be ready to put together in a mixing bowl and start to mix them. So we'll come back and mix that up in about an hour or two. Okay, so we are back. Um, I have two pumpkin rolls that I decided to make since the canned pumpkin uh, makes one, it was a 15 ounce can, makes two pumpkin rolls and you have about another third of a cup left. So I made up two pumpkin rolls. So I've already made um, the filling, the cream cheese filling for the first one. So now I'm going to make for the second one. I'm going to show you, you take eight ounces of cream cheese. that in and four tablespoons of butter half a teaspoon of vanilla blend that up all together and next after that you put one cup of powdered sugar in okay so that's pretty good and we'll do one cup of powdered sugar. Okay, so the filling is all ready and we'll be putting it in the pumpkin roll. Okay, so now it's ready for the pumpkin roll. Try to put it in and spread it out evenly.
now I'll just put it to the edges, but without being too close, just more about being even with it. When my grandmother and I would do this, we would kind of have an assembly line going and she'd be mixing up the, you know, the batter for the pumpkin roll. And uh, I'd be getting this ready, the cream cheese filling. And we'd just have them all lined up and then cool them off. And as soon as they were ready, we'd just start filling them and rolling them up and getting them in the refrigerator. It was so much fun. It feels like fall when you do that. Smell of pumpkin in the air. All right. Okay. So it's ready to go. I usually go with the side that was last rolled out, rolled back in. And then you could just take your wax paper that you used and just gently kind of roll it. There we go like that then you could take some powdered sugar and kind of sprinkle on the top so that it won't stick next you'll be putting it in wax paper to get it into the refrigerator to set up for uh probably about eh, usually about four hours or so before you slice it up And then we have him coming in. Hello, Hello. how are you? Two sheriffs went in around the block and then they were doing all kinds of maneuvers and everything. It's amazing. And, and this is life in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> they left the neighborhood. I guess nobody's watching or missing. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> He's just so random. I don't know. <laughs> oh. All right, we'll get this in the refrigerator. I'll get a bag out for it. All right, see you back here in a few hours.